All right, we are live. Welcome to the third installment of World Tour in the A320 with Armina. What's up? What's up? Welcome back, people. Where are we at again? It's not there. It's like Rakatanka. Rarotonga, yeah. Yes. So we're doing Rarotonga to you or is me? It is almost uh, 400 600 nautical miles. South Pacific west Ocean. Cook Island. West of Cook Island. Cook Island. Tonga Samoa. Island. Triangle. Alright. So, planes part right where I left it last time. And let's get into it. So, according to today, unlike yesterday's mishap, I'm supposed to load 15,639 pounds of fuel. Go ahead and that. Right, so check out the flight plan really quick. So today we're cruising at flight level four zero zero, crossing five. Ground distance five hundred and ninety. Air distance six hundred and probably about an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Yeah. Take. Uh, let's set up the CDU really quick. ID. They're crossing the five. Does it? Okay. Did say there was no sit, correct? I heard your captain. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there is a Sid. Uh, it is Tokit. Tokit, one Papa. Hold on, let me. Give me one second. I'm on the. I bridge the group. Direct arrival. Wait. We can wait. Start. Meantime, we can do a quick check to see. Going on with the. Uh, Airport itself. Make sure we can land there and all that good. Well, for for starters, the airport is <clears throat> a little bit less than eight thousand feet. Oh, I can do that. Yeah. Who our alternate is Pago Pago. You ever been there before? Nope. Uh, I haven't been about this year, uh, this part of the world yet. This is my first time too. That's good. I believe it's the the island with all the stone heads on them. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. Pago, Pago. And that's our fourth leg, right? Is it? I think so. No, it's an alternate. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. 
Why not the four fifth? I'm gonna see if they have scenery for it, and then I'm gonna download it um, during that flight. I don't think I've been to it in this sim, not since Flight Simulator 98, 2004 or something. Like All right, so it should be doable. I have no worries. We're doing an R and R to a a quick look at that out. Simple enough. Yeah, we'll just go straight in. Boom. Okay. Go ahead and turn on that. I forgot three seconds. All that on. Oh, oh she <laughs> All right. 15.6 confirmed in tanks 15.6 yesterday is not happening although that was interesting hey Omorian how you doing I might have to go to 38 no, even though sim brief told me I forgot 39 is my ceiling AP is on, available external power to disconnect that. How are you doing today, sir? Toxin. I'm pretty good. I can't complain. I went back and watched yesterday's stream and was like, okay, yeah. That was interesting. For sure. I had a good time though. I appreciate your help. Final load sheet. Finds with Ed No 2. Oh, we don't have the graph. Yeah, I don't think they have a print. Yeah, there's no button to print. Although I'm pretty sure printer is down there. Yeah, this this graph is kind of cool. Got three pages. I do. I wonder what the plus five is. Is like it's the crew? I'm not supposed to have any crew. How you looking, Armina? Are you ready? Oh. Uh, firing up the APU. How much more time you need? Uh, three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. And what are you in? What am I in? Yes. 380? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to add 380. Nah. <laughs> I didn't even know they made a 380 for this. No. no just the regular fly by wire. Oh, look. Fly by wire 380 is out? No, not yet. It's not out yet. No. Oh, okay. Two pilots for cabin crew? Gotcha. Well, there shouldn't be no cabin crew, but I don't think there's any way for me to differentiate, so. Alright, let's take off, I'm mean, gonna take off, let's set up our takeoff speed. Here's a question, do you normally take off with your packs on?
like when it's really hot outside. Take off with packs off. I know it'll give you more power, but is that like all the time? Is that like standard procedure? So it's 17. The Oh, what the hell? Let's try it. Then I get to go first. <laughs> and, you get, and you get to wait till I make the U-turn. Back. Knock yourself out, buddy. Dana. Heck, how I fight that? Okay, uh, sixty-eight. There, open. Oh, it was supposed to be thirty-eight. Okay, so I think we're all set. Everything good. Just wait for my boy to taxi on out. Now I'll use Eric pushback. Got it here. Switch them off before lining up on the runway, then switch pack one on right after you set your thrust to fine. Interesting. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. What'd you say? I'm sorry? Preparing for takeoff. Flight attendant. Oh. Then them know. Strap up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. I don't know about yours, but I know mine's <laughs> gonna be smooth. They're gonna have to clean that runway after I smother it. <laughs> <laughs> Put your packs on before we do power, you have an aim. Okay, well that's good to know. Yeah, my side cannot. Oh. Alright folks, he's taxiing on out, so I'm a generic pushback. Breaks release. It's starting. No one behind us. Turn engine mode. Start. Master two. Just for passenger comfort, nice. You have no passengers. No passengers at all. Apparently I have four flight attendants. <laughs> we just figured that out. Up here. Brake set. That's 
a good start on two, I believe. Alright, starting one. How are you looking in that taxi? All the way to the end. What is the correct terminology for it? I know it's, is it U-turn or what is it? Ah, uh, yeah, I'd say U-turn. The hell? U-turn? <laughs> yeah. I thought, yeah. I, I thought aviation had their own terminology for it. Um. Let me think. Backtrack? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, backtrack and do a U-turn. That's basically... Alright. One is a good start, so... That's good. Uh, engine mode normal. APU off. Your law says we should have at least fire temperature. Yeah, it's like that in America too. It's just I have no passengers, so I don't know why it gave me you know, the flight attendants. But it is what it is. He says you backtrack and do a 180. Got that? APU off. Apps two. Prim. One, three, four, five, six. Looks like it's an open climb. No restrictions. No okay. restrictions, straight up. Yeah. It's always fun. Uh, let me know when you're taking off. Alright. Back team to a better position. Have you in sight? Ready. Hawaiian Airlines 226 taking off runway 08. 26. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, he's rolling. He's off. All right. You're up. One thousand. This bad boy into um high gear. Is it okay to turn the packs off now? Did 
here. I'm so light. <laughs> I could have took off from that intersection and been fine. Sure of it. Taxi back, I didn't realize. variable winds. All right. Up to 50 knots. Yes, sir. They are off. Let's turn them off while we're attacking them. Take off man flex SRS. Hmm. There we go. That's 80 knots. Rotate. I don't. It's my throttle. They're like uh here, see lever, lever. Hold on, let me point it at that one. Damn. Fine thrust. Yeah, they're kind of, they're kind of weird. I can't really explain it. I tried calibrating it. Sometimes I get it right in the right spot and other times I don't. Oh, I just caught up. I caught that. It'd be like seconds before you said anything. <laughs> Go ahead and get it off. Bigger. Passing flight level one four zero. One four zero. Ooh. Yep. I'm a climber. A climber today. Copy. Auto brake max will only work if the speed is above 72. Okay, yeah, I didn't know that one for sure. That. Learning something new again. I'm going to have to take notes afterwards. The very... I wonder if MCT will give me more thrust. Of course it will. 
climb is crazy. 5,500 feet per minute in climbing. Let's see what this looks like from the outside. Hold on, let's clear it level off a little bit. For that one, yo. <laughs> nah, we're doing a demonstration here. <laughs> demonstration. Yeah. I just wanted the extra climb through us. I thought that would be fun. Right now I'm at uh Oh it leveled off a little bit. But that's no fun. It was at ninety two percent and I'm doing almost six thousand feet per minute. Transition altitude. So, 577 nautical miles. Have an extra 7.6 in case we have to go to Pago Pago. So, there's never a situation where you're climbing like say you're flying a 321 and you're just the hot day and you need just a little bit more climb power you can't use MCT I have a huge rate of climb pull the altitude knob and pull the speed and reduce to 50 okay That is another way to do it. What's your altitude? Positive 225. 225? I'm at 18, buddy. You got you up. Climbing like a 319. So let's turn these two knobs off again. Let me not. <laughs> I was oh, that was crazy. But I can say that was the first time I've ever flown it in uh, direct law. Really? Even in 319? Wow. I've heard so much good things about that one. They call it uh, the Corvette of the sky. Well, besides the 7.5, its uh, performance is great. Burning 10,000 pounds an hour of fuel. Wait a second. So crazy. Why is three nine eight the max and it's not forty? Five six one direct up there. Has bad climb performance. Do not today. I've heard so many stories about the R321 uh, being horrible.
I mean, I understand that, you know, for the obvious reasons, but, you know, if you're going to certify it to 398, you might as well just give it the extra 200 feet. Like, what's going to be different at 200 feet difference? I'm curious. Hey, those 200 feet, they it, might have uh, a lot. It's due to pressurization. But I might as well never take it to 398 because... I know I busted 398 a couple times yesterday. Once you like a 41. <laughs> ah, APU is able to work at 41, but not the airplane. Gotcha. I don't even know why this lets me dial it up to 49. Didn't it just stop at 39 or 40 at least or something? I don't know. These are things I think about. Like, don't give me access to what I can't get to. Alright, buddy. What's your altitude? Passing 30, 300. Alright, you're about 2,000 uh, feet above me. And how far are you from Aragi? Uh, I am um, four nautical miles from Mibor. Four from Mibor? Okay. Yeah. 30 from Mibor. If I'm... Yeah, 30 from Mibor. I'm passing it now. Really? Interesting. A metric RVSM system? Yeah, I guess that makes all the noise. Now that you bring that up, is there any way to just, I can add an alternate, let's make something up, um, I've never looked at any of their charts, let's take a look, something random, I really do. That actually looked like a fun, fun approach. Hold on. For initial approach, the R nav transition. Okay. The ver meters of feet. So all their charts would be in meters or in feet. Chengdu? What's the code for Chengdu?
Yeah, it looks like it's in feet. Uh, RVR is in, in, in visibility or is in meters. Kyrgyzstan or something like that. Okay. The ALS is out. Interesting. This will approach 200 max simultaneous approach that to regular. Three thousand nine hundred forty. I got what you're saying because it's not a uh, straight off number like three thousand nine hundred. Gotcha. Rule four. And then if you look over here at the recommended altitudes, all of those are kind of wonky as well. At two miles, it needs to be 2,260 feet. Top left corner. Gotcha. That'll do it. That's so weird. They have three airports. Such such close proximity. Oh, where we're at right now? Yeah, that's Z-U-U-U. Oh, Z-U-U-U. Yeah, I've never really flown over on that part of the world. And I think the closest thing I've done is like maybe Nepal. And uh, there was some airport that had a... Uh, RNP approach and I was trying to see what that was like with all the turns that was fun I just hit cruise you just hit cruise I've been cruising apparently <laughs> the overhead check real quick How far from Aragi uh, are you now? 183. 183, I'm 211. And you're going faster than me, I'm sure. But I'm only doing... You know what, I could bump this up. What are you doing? How fast are you going? 738. I'm doing 781. Okay. 21. That ain't enough. Ow! I had like an extra 7,000. Oh, it's trying to make me go way faster than I could go. Okay, I see what happened there. The crash. <laughs> That's funny. So how fast do you think uh, having a cost index of 999, how fast do you think it was trying to make me go? Try 90? That's legit. 7.9? I 
I just tried it. It took my um speed thing way above into the red and then it told me I didn't have enough fuel on board. I'll show you. Well, it actually says one. Hold on. It's not doing it anymore. But you're still accelerating. Go back to me. High speed descent. That's nuts. Crash. I just told them about that. Uh, 999 thing changing my speed to 1. A part of me is like, let's find a way to break the plane again. <laughs> Looking at everything else to see. Is anything. Have you ever did the manual start? The two buttons here. Back in the day, that's how I used to start it before I understood that there was a whole switch by the throttles. When do you need to use them? not to start the engine. Is that like when you're in flight? Side crank after fuel leak. Gotcha. Have we looked at the weather or where we're going at all? It looks clear. Ooh. I couldn't tell you the last time I did a, a full-blown ILS to minimums. I had to do one today, into LaGuardia, like I couldn't see nothing, like, like at the very last second, just like, when the air, when the runway showed up, that's when my go-around gotcha. um, symbol came on, I was like, oh, forget this, I'm going in. <laughs> Man, that sounds like fun. Yeah, visibility's clear. Broken okay, eight. I hate this. I need that weather that I have to ask people in the chat. Should I leave, let the autopilot do it? Or should I do it? And they always pick me. Not fair. I'm like, if you have the automation, you might as well use it, right? No? I mean, don't forget, this is only leg three. So you're asking for something you know will show up. 
I don't know. You never know. <laughs> Is this true? Interesting. Fadek doesn't protect it? I thought it always did. Click, click. I'm almost doing point eight oh dang all in the ass. But what would they have given me if I put a hundred in? Same, didn't even change. That sucks. Am I visible on gotcha. the TCAS now? Nope, I do not see you on the TCAS. You got it on? You got it turned on? Of course. It is on auto. On the one. Out to the reporting is on. I put it on all. And it's on TAR, right? I don't know, I haven't really... I feel like I've seen like AI traffic, but but you're also kind of far from me. Uh, how far from how far from Moragi are you now? One twenty. I'm one forty-seven. It's on twenty miles. That's not too bad. I mean, you should I'm, be able to see. Hey, I'm I, I'm doing well. You're still like twenty miles. That's asking for a lot. Twenty miles ahead. I don't see nothing. And we're at the same altitude, right? Yep, I'm at three eight. Yep. Okay, yeah. Okay. I don't see nothing. to make my thumbnail really fast. to the right side. There we go. I swear a part of me is just like break it. <laughs> Like Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Coming up on ETC too. Does your plane show you where the ETP is? Say that again? ETP? 
No, he does not. Full time point. I can see you on the map, though. What's up, man? We hauling ass. <laughs> you set that up in there? Yeah. Okay, yeah. You gonna show me how to do that? Oh, you've never done it? Okay, I would say I don't think I've ever done that. I mean, it's showing on the screen. It's by uh, Oragi. Top of the sense about uh hour away yeah I can definitely see you on the FS map ready for bed too early man Mario movie I wanted to take the kids but they was acting crazy so I didn't come on man we're gonna play Fortnite after He's a real damn new kid. Oh, equal point time. E equal time. There we go. Hey, this is interesting. I've never seen this page a day in my life. How did you get to that page? Huh? How did you get to that page? Uh, data. Equal time point. That's another thing. Uh, uh, this one doesn't do it. I don't it doesn't do it. Yeah. Can't believe Reaper's going to bed at seven thirty. Check. Yeah, I've never messed with this database. <laughs> I already Need for diversion. Oh, closest airports? Okay, gotcha. That's cool. But that's where we just took off from. Yeah. What does freeze mean? I'm not sure. It's medical if, it, if, if anybody has the answer, it's um, Almorian. Reaper, stay up to freaking 12, man. Press the right arrow. On closest airports, or... You're a party pooper, sir. Press the right arrow. I was pressing it, but I didn't get anything. Unless you mean... The EFB... E5 wind. Yeah. Looks like it brings up the wind. Alright, right, I'll give you... Hold on, what time do you start tomorrow? Five hours. Uh, what time do you wake up? That's the better question. Right. A lot of times... I just put it in like I did here. JFK VOR. 6,176 miles. For the Appleton VOR. Closer to Appleton, Jesus. It didn't? Oh, okay.
Excuse me. We are closer to Ohio than we are to New York. I guess we're closer to LA as well, right? That'll be my guess. Hmm. This is one thing I've never messed with. So, secondary flight plan. So I can set up a whole another flight plan in the secondary. I don't see. It's not for if you're if you have to divert. Go to your alternate. So I'm gonna yeah. uh, try that real quick. Uh -huh. And passing ten thousand. Um. All right, let's try it. That's true. But that's every single flight you do this. A lot of things to remember. <laughs> I guess it becomes second nature after. A while. Interesting. So say you have to go to your alternate, then what would you do? Just redo the secondary? Got a company message here. That. Yeah, I box. ND fair radio navigation. Interesting. Oh yeah, okay, so if you scroll down, it's... Yep, it sure is. That's cool to know this thing is like... model to the T. I wonder if the stuff we tried yesterday would work the same way on the fly-by-wire. Yeah, I wish some of that stuff was modeled in here too. It was like just like. engine out routing so if you have an engine out you plan a whole route for that just in case taco what's up dukes go to your mcdu real quick there you do. Go to ATC com. Not a whole lot. We're uh, pressing buttons and breaking stuff. Well, yesterday we really did. Uh, today, so far, it's been uh, pretty good. 
Yours is different than mine. Ah, uh, what does yours say? Mine has uh, on the on the on the right on the left hand soft key has a flight flight request, ground request, message record, monitored message, connection link. And then my report is on right C soft key. I wonder if it's alright. Try this. Yeah. Um. Right C soft key. Hold on. It's something I'm looking for. I just don't remember where it's at. You might yours might be modeled off of a uh, a different version. I don't know. The airlines have their engine out procedures. Mine was using today. Okay. Dude, I always thought if you lost an engine, man, it is what it is. You figure it out as you go along, but if you're planning ahead like that, that's not bad at all. That's a lot of extra flight planning that I didn't know that, you know, airline pilots did. I know you went over, like, stuff like missed approaches and stuff. I didn't know, like, oh, if we take off and we lose an engine, we're gonna go 25 miles on runway heading, you know. I didn't know conversations like that were had. Alright, we're about 300 and some odd miles. Do I have water? Hmm. Even better yet. Hold on one second. I'm back. Which one? The last one I've seen was airlines have their engine out seat. Duke, you getting on the game tonight? Okay. So can you transfer from this? Yeah, you can make the secondary active, so yeah. See, that works. That definitely saves some time. Just in case we're cleared, alright. Those are very uh, viable options. I would have never thought on my own to use it like that, but if it works, it works, right? Mm 
Yeah, I've always wondered if you had to like make like a secondary flight plan, like once you land and everything, you know, like put, put all that stuff in. Interesting. I slow sell for Pi, just uh, redo the active. Another good way to use it. Another good way. To manipulate the figure to see what things would be. And then if you would request it and you get it activated, I guess. Correct? Look at your Discord. I sent you a picture. Like, have, you ever, have you ever seen that page before? Stand by. Lateral speed. No. Never. <laughs> yeah, it's under eight it's under ATC palm. Hold on. Take a look at it. Pull the heading first. Gotcha. Get on the request, right? Uh, might be on the request. Yeah, because yours is big. Let double check that. It's a flight request. I'm scared. What happens if I press this due to aircraft performance? Oh, what the hell. Oh, shit. I did something. <laughs> I pressed it. I wonder if it's going to give me like a... Uh, like a... The ACARS message? So you can, hold on, so you can send messages to ATC as well? But how do you know which, which air traffic control you're sending it to? Is it whatever the one that you're tuned into? I'm going to start pressing mad buttons. <laughs> Use for ATC, what we call this. Crazy, it's a whole new world. And I didn't know half of these buttons on this thing work. I've played with them in the past, but I've never knew what they were. I've just been seeing them. This is wild. But I know yours goes more in depth compared to the fly by wire. Yours has more more options. It transferred automatically. I was on the good page. Which one was that? Notification. to the ATC center. Yeah, I have no clue. In this case, what would it be? The I airport that no we're heading to? Auckland Center. But I don't know. You know where it'd be a good place if um, somebody was... Uh, Bordeaux, LFBB, Paris, LFFF. I'm gonna try that Paris one right now. 
are safe. Frames. Sent him a message. <laughs> That's a five you have, okay. Yeah, I would probably be able to use all of them. I'm a fly for our Air France virtual. So a lot of my um that's like I mean I even lie. Damn near all my hours. have an alarm and it would say notification fail. So I don't know. Tell me anything. Mine keeps saying no hobby connection. No hobby? You have to um does you, did your thing um, allow you to enter your happy information? I've yeah, I've activated it in the, on the flight pad. Never heard. That's weird. Let me get a weather update here. 0907. Oh, it's but asking for a happy ID. I don't think I have a happy ID. don't have a happy ID, yeah. I can send you the link to that. I did that right. I did not do that right. That doesn't look like a... Try this. There we go. Um... Discord. Check your Discord. Well, we're pretty close, 240 miles, but I, a half an hour. Ground speed is only 450. Okay, I'm giving this plane. I got time a day. Damn, I have to watch this. Gotcha, appreciate that. Let me notify ten fifty eight zero. Oh, hold on. So Did these even come on? What come on? Oh, it is on. Of the air conditioning? No, this little, I don't even know what this thing is called. What is this? Uh, what are you pointing at? It's crazy, you can see the reflection. So let's try this again, hold on.
Ah, it did come up. That would be crazy for early printers. I can't see. Well. Nope, nothing printed. Yeah, I didn't I've never ever touched that. Gotcha. Zero nine zero seven eight and twelve. Really? That way you don't have to say that all that stuff to. The, that is awesome. Yeah, you're gonna have to show me how to do that one. Hold on. Um. The only other thing I wanted to look at was the only a very few airports. Are okay, that would make. Somewhat sense, but I've never seen it somebody do that before. Would they allow that on that thing? <laughs> they probably would since you could use chat. Yeah. Looking at this R now, two way. Like I said, we'll just go straight in. Do we even hold on? Probably wrong, but okay. I uh, I base out of in the sim. I base out of Charles ago, so I got to try it there and see what happens, especially on that sim. Ugog. Yeah, they're gonna do direct straight in, bro. It, it, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't. What's our decision height? The height is 305. The altitude is 490. Okay. Oh, but look. So, question. In this situation now, it's only giving me Barrow, and not uh, what was the other one that was on there yesterday? We had we had two options yesterday. Radio. Radio. Is it radio? Don't you just use that for when you're doing um our radio navigation? Is it? Mm hmm. I usually put the decision height in the radio in the radio. Yeah, that's why. Oh, uh, okay. So our nav approach, that's why it only gives you parallel. So then that means I have to put in the 490, correct? Not even accurate with the cat one. That's why we use radio for cat two and three. Gotcha. So put 490 in your radio. I mean your barrel. Sorry. If 
30 miles to my top of the set. 30? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I put that thing in there. 92. We're holding good distance from each other. I, I give you that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little more than 20 miles. Maybe it's that 25. But what's cool is it's straight in, so. You'll get no argument from me. We gonna have a better landing today. Always. He should always. <laughs> that was loud. I wish I could spell. Seems that you like France that much. Are you Ooh. doing the? Uh, are, are you gonna join in, in the world record attempt next week? No. I should, but no. Why not? Uh, I'll probably want to end up doing. What what day is it? I think it's on. It's actually this, this Saturday. This Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. I might actually be able to. I mean, other streamers are doing it, you know. Um, could be good exposure. Start pulling out some fuses. Hold on, um. Where do I sign up? Okay, you're hitting top of the sense, going down to 3,000. 3,000 Pressing button. Oh, that's the uh, HUD. No, it's not. What was that? I do not know what I just hit. It was the HUD. Not the HUD, the uh, sun visor. That looks so annoying. 
this thing. Yeah. Back to the 1940s. Why are you at that angle? <laughs> what did you press? I was just messing with stuff. I don't have anything that old. And I don't like tail draggers. Oh yeah. They're so hard to control on the ground, dude. Like, and that's not even, that's not even flight to me for real life. I tried to fly a Cessna 170 and it was horrible on the ground. Flying Fabio. It was just horrible on the day. Trying to keep that thing straight gave me anxiety. And I was on grass. And made it even worse. It. And you can't even see the runway, you're looking facing up until you see the sudden speed. Right. Once it got in the air, it felt great. Mm -hmm. yeah. You need to use a lot more, uh, you need to be a little bit more precise with your rudder. But. Other than that, it felt normal, but speed or something. Oh, felt like I was going to crash. Forty-two miles. What would you do if your pilot said that? <laughs> You're in the plane and they're like, yeah, due to the maintenance, we lost some time, but I'm going to cut some corners and we'll be on time. Would you be uh, alarmed? Depends on what corners is cutting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to cut some corners. Don't worry, uh... I'll just cut some corners and I'm passing two five five and the island is still not in view. I repeat, island not in view. I wonder how far of this body is. <laughs> I feel like on a good day we should be able to see it. But there's obviously yeah. some space. All right. Oh, we're landing on two eight, correct? Yes, two eight. So. Yeah, winds are still covering two eight. Oh, there's no parking in. <laughs> oh, it's really tight. <laughs> like it's like oh my god, let's, let's pull this up on the maps real quick. Three parking spots and they're all for Stephanie. <laughs> let's go on the I'm gonna try and get that first class to win. I'm looking at the right one. Yeah, Tonga. Yeah, NIU. Wait, the island. Yeah. What's the name of this airport? This one is called NAN International Airport. H A N A N. 
No, N I U E. Okay, okay. N I U E. New International. <coughs> and then you. Okay, yeah. Then, you um. What we can. Here's what we can do. When you land, you let me know if you're gonna take the first taxiway or the second. And then whatever one you don't take, I'll take the opposite. I can just park. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. The taxiway is super tight in there. Yeah. Hey, this That's thing gets good, man. You look at I some of these airports, it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. It's in the middle of nowhere out there. Look up this one now. When I have to throw it. Down. I Google that and it's like, what the hell? Stop playing with me. Is this real? There was. Thank you for the follow too much super okay. it is and I was descending at 6,000 feet per minute. Holy. <laughs> What's your altitude right now? Passing one two zero. One two zero. Oh, you start. You started down early. I forget you. It doesn't calculate it for you. Yeah. I'll probably end up passing way faster. Sure. Go to. Fifteen miles. Fifteen and closing. Finally, just cut up. I 
think I see something in the distance, way out there. If I shake the camera left to the right, I can see a blob. Oh, don't see that. We're only, what, 70 miles away? Good guess. Right now I am 53. And I'm just about past 10,000. 57? 70? I think from here it would take about an hour in a car to get there. I know, right? Look at that fuel, 9,140 pounds. I got 8,200. 3,200? 8,000. Oh, okay. I was going to say, ooh, that's kind of low for you. Well, with where I am, I think it's three. Like, let, let me make you go around the day and see what happens. <laughs> That's great. So, one last weather check, although I'm pretty sure. Holy shit, it changed. I think crazy though. 31 degrees. This is nice in here. Mm -hmm. the crazy. They ate. Zero five zero seven. Hey bug, what's going on? Hopefully you're behaving yourself today. Are you playing Fortnite with us later? What does that mean, sir? <laughs> That's actually beautiful. Is that like the inside of a volcano? Or yes, uh-huh. And that's an airport or an island? Just an island. Uh, it looks like it's an island, but Google Maps says it's an airport, and even, um, but it doesn't have an IOC code, that's the thing. I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's just like a landing strip. It has to be a landing strip. It's pretty. All of these diamonds, it costs, I'm afraid, what's that? Is that a song?
Jay Bug, you know you're lucky that our Pro 2 is not in here because he would probably time you out, right? All of it. Someone spamming your chat. Yeah, he's spamming. But someone, you know. I gave him a, a, a two-minute, two-minute ban. <laughs> Did it delete all his messages too? Yep. Uh huh. His deleted the moderator. That's crazy. <laughs> Stay bug, man. I don't, I don't understand what you're doing. He's got a two minute timeout. That's all. Gotta keep it clean. Man. At 14, 8, for 3,000. But you know, it still remains on your screen, though, right? Is it still on the screen? Yeah, it's yeah, on your chat. Um, on the screen, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. There ain't nothing I can do about that. Here. You're gonna stop? <laughs> Day bug, that's not good language. Island is in B. I gave you a minute. Tried to be nice. Ring the bell. Flight attendant, please prepare for landing. I only got four mods. None of them are in here. Ew. Three. Island looks very nice. Oh, the transition was being painful. And I have uh, LDEV and, well, yeah, LDEV and VDEV, yay. So this is going to be like an ILS for me. Oh, yeah. You have that? Uh, feature? yes. Yep, I do. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn on lights. Thousand. Crazy because I don't see you. Know, I know you're like right there. Yeah, I am uh, three nautical miles from Guaga. You're less than 10 miles from. A little more than five. You're about five miles. What's your speed right now? Uh, I see you. I see you. Oh, do I see you on TCAF? Hold on. I got too excited. <laughs> but we can keep the 200? Yep. Mm -hmm. But it is trying to slow me down. Yeah, I've already hit my approach. 
There you are, I, I see you now, my t cat's behind me. <laughs> just popped up. Glowing. Crazy to see this big white thing in front of me. Is that the airport? <laughs> You see it too? Yes, it is. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. That, that is yep. the airport. Uh huh. I'm like, that's a very wide-looking runway. If that's, <laughs> I can't wait to get a little bit closer. I see your lights behind me now. <laughs> Real speck of light. I was coming in. Hot, but I It really looks wide, man. That's crazy. Flaps full. Seven nautical miles. Seven? A ten. One. Good down. Visa. It looks very wide, man. That's crazy. Unless it's just so it, it's surrounded by a bunch of white coral or I don't know, for a lot of sand. Do. I think it's where they've cleared uh, for the runway. Edges of the runway. What's your speed now? Yeah. Speed. 140. Uh, I can see. Yeah, I see it too. The mine's coming in good. Crazy. It is. Oh. I see it. I see it. I'll be coming. Two thousand. Speed. 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 Speed, speed, speed. What I'll do. Oh, are you kidding me? Someone just, <laughs> someone just spawned on the highway. Literally, they just spawned in the highway. Might be a stream snipe, because there's no way somebody's out here. Yes. Dark Brooklyn. He's taking off. He was expecting it to come earlier? Yeah. Like my post. <laughs> nope, I'm using the whole runway. What the, the whole hell? Runway. You're using the whole runway? 1000. Yep. Well, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll make sure it's a super short stop. <laughs> I'm waiting for you up here at the end. Yeah, there's no way to get that first uh, it's gonna make me be a little too slow I don't want to go that slow 120 because
what are the odds someone decides to spawn all the way out here? I mean, I know it's the correct speed, but Think it's rate. causing me to almost stall. Think rate. Think rate. Pull up. Pull up. 40, Think 30, rate. 20, retard. Nope, going, <laughs> going around. <laughs> B, even B. I'll be out of here. I'm to go back. Hey, there's your shadow. I just saw your shadow pass by me. <laughs> You have ground mini. Man. I wish you could have felt what that felt like. When you did the S turn? Hmm? When you were doing the S turn? Yeah, it felt like it wanted to fall out the sky. That's why I added some uh, speed. Because I'm like. Even if it's. uh modeled correctly. It's still good enough. Yeah. Got the master the caution. Even if it's not lit up. Awesome. That's annoying. <laughs> that probably is. That is probably the most annoying sound I've ever heard in this cockpit. Clear yet? Oh yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm be, I've been clear. I think we can both fit. There's space for both of us. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Hot and high again. One off, two off. Think rate. Right. Think rate. Right. Hot and high. Think rate. Right.
do landing and then turning up the roof in the jungle. It's <laughs> like landing on the Middle East. <laughs> I don't know where you know that's one good that's a good question now that you said that. I don't know if reverse idle actually is uh emulated. That's that theory here in a second. <laughs> Oh, I see she was talking about doing much. Okay. I think the lens out is too Try this out. So, sidle. Did it, did it tell you that you're a reverse idle? How would you know you're a reverse On your top e cam? On the e cam? Yeah, the top one. Where your N2s are? I mean, he says reverse, but same. Is that reverse idle right there? So sensitive. That must be reverse idle. Gotcha. Just where this setting is on these throttles, I don't know if... So I'm in it right now, correct? Okay. For me to find... For me to find... So what? It's calibrated, it's just really sensitive. Like there's a there's a lockout for reverse. I pulled up the two tabs. But to find reverse idle on my own would be crazy. Oh, this is it right here. That right there. things like when I um, touch down to find where these throttles are at right now in the middle of trying to keep the plane straight and all that stuff crazy without looking like like looking at it I can see the Right there where the yellow is. I can see where the deep end is, but can't feel it. The only thing I could feel is it's in reverse. It's that regular idle. Have you thought of, have you thought of putting a sticker? Like a little sticker that pulls out so you can see it? Well it, it's it's yellow. I can see it but I would have to look at it. Uh -huh. But I'm also supposed to be looking down the runway. Or am I going to turn down, look? It's just... I don't know. It's been three minutes. Can I turn my engines off now? Pretty sure. I didn't turn it. I'll just give up. Pretty short, but 
<laughs> I remember that, see? Four people that you have. <laughs> Four people. Looks like you're yeah. a the airline that is. Yeah, I was trying to see what it is. That that Eight. that logo. That logo looks like cargo locks. Okay, it does. It says C A T dot com. It is a CH air, but it doesn't look. Oh, here it is. Uh, Ring Airline. Which one? Ring Airline. Bring on it. Well, here's a question. When you're shutting down, even though the external power is on, can I hit battery first? Or do I hit the external power then battery? That is leg three. Where are we at again? <laughs> Man, <laughs> so crazy. I have a checklist here too. Don't, 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 uh, don't count me out. I just did not. <laughs> I turned the oxygen off for sure. Did I turn the? I think I turned. Yeah, that, that. Crucify still on. There we go. Emergency lights are off. Emergency lights, see if those are off. I think I got everything. Let's check the checklist. Brake fans off, emergency lights off, no smoking off. That one's kind of ingrained in my head because those are always the things I turn off. Turn it off. Plane off. Yeah, we're coming to all these places. It kind of reminds me. Yeah, Wakanda forever. No, I haven't. I haven't seen Wakanda yet. I just watched it. I won't. <laughs> it's been like months since it's been out.
Oh, there's a little community over here. A little beach community. I'm going to check that out now. All right. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Um, I don't know when we'll be back on. Figure it out towards you. Um, appreciate your help, as always. to uh next leg sir um is friday okay yeah friday friday same time same time 6 30. i'll catch you then all right buddy all right man. Care, man good night <laughs>